In the last video, we learned how to determine whether an argument is valid using a truth table. We'll go over the solutions to this question in this video. As always, if you enjoy the channel and it helps you out, you can support it by joining as a member below for 2 or $5 Canadian a month. Uh, if not, you can always like, share, comment, and that helps just as much, so I appreciate you no matter how you support the channel. So, in order to determine if an argument is valid, what we have to do is we have to build a truth table where the premises are joined by ands and the conclusion uh, is an arrow. So if we have a and b if and only if c, not c and a, not a arrow b, and that proves b, then we have to show that a and b if and only if c and not c and a and not a arrow b, arrow b is a tautology. So I have a grid up here because there's just a ton of numbers, so it might look a little bit uglier, but hopefully this helps with organization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bit at the top just so we have a little bit of space to show where we're getting information from, and let's build this truth table. So let's start with A and B. So this takes information, let's do this in yellow, from the column with A and the column with B. It's only true when both A and B are true. So it's going to be true with the first two rows, one and one, and then in the third, fourth row, we have one zero, that's false. Fifth and sixth row, we have zero, one, that's false. Seventh, eighth row, we have zero, zero. That is false. Okay, now let's do if and only if C. So this gets information from A and B in the AND column and from C, and it's true if the values are the same. So first row, one, one, that's the same. Second row, one, zero, that's different. Third row, zero, zero, or sorry, third row is zero, one, that's different. Fourth row is zero, zero, that's the same. Fifth row, zero, one, that's different. Sixth row, zero, zero, that's the same, so it's true. Seventh row, zero, one, that's different. Final row, zero, zero, that's the same. So now we have our column for A and B, if and only if C. Okay, our first premise is taken care of. Okay, let's do not C. So this just takes the values of C and flips them. So one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero is going to become zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and zero, one. So that's a nice straightforward column. Uh, let's do not C and A. So that's going to get information from not and information from A, and it's true only if both of those are true. So in the first row we have 0, 1, that's 0. Uh, 1, 1, that's 1. 0, 1, that's 0. 1, 1, that's 1 in row 4. In row 5 we have 0, 0, that gives us 0. The sixth row we have 1 and 0, that's 0. Uh, seventh row, 0, 0, that's 0. And eighth row, 1 and 0, that's 0. So it's only true in rows two and four. Okay, now we have our first two premises done. So joined by and, we can take a look at the truth value of that. So if and only if, we get the column from there, and we get the column from and, from not C and A. And because it's and, it's true only if both of those are true. So it might be good to sort of just put a little box, a little circle around what we're looking at here, because now we have a lot of numbers. So just to make sure we're focusing on the right ones. So it's true and both of those are true. So one zero in row one gives us zero. Zero one in row two gives us zero. Zero zero in row three gives us zero. One one in row four gives us one. Okay, so we do have a true row here. Then in the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth row, we have zeros for not CNA. So this whole thing will be a zero because our conjunction needs both sides to be true. Okay, so we have the column for our first two premises. Now let's do not a arrow b. So not a is just going to take information from a and it's going to flip the truth value. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 is going to give us 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, now we can do not a arrow b. So this will take information from not a and from b. And remember, this is only false when we have one arrow 0. So the first two rows, we have 0 arrow 1. That's true. Third and fourth row, we have 0 arrow 0. That's true. Fifth row, we have one arrow one, that's true. Sixth row is the same, so it's true. But in the seventh and eighth row, we have one arrow zero, so these ones are false. Okay, <laughs> now we can do the and that takes our first two premises and not a arrow b and compares the two. So I'm going to put the boxes around these again, just so we can remind ourselves what we're comparing. And this is true when both of them are true. So in row 
1, 2, and 3. A and B are if and only if C and not C, are, not C and A. Those are false. So the first three rows will be false. We have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Fourth row, we have 1 and 1. That's going to be true. And then the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth row, we have 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 0, and 0 and 0. So those will all be false there. Okay. We're almost done here. Just have one more to go. So we have the arrow. So that's going to get information from B, and it's going to get information from our AND here. So that's going to be this column and this column. And if this is a valid argument, everything under the arrow should be true. Everything should be one. So let's see. Zero, arrow one. That's true. In row two, zero, arrow one. That's true. Row three, zero, arrow, zero. That's true. Row four, one, arrow, zero. That's false. Okay, let's finish the rest anyway. Zero, arrow, one in row five. That's true. Zero, arrow, one in row six. That's true. Zero, arrow, zero, row seven. That's true. Zero, arrow, zero in row eight. That's true. So what we found in this example, if I can just get rid of this, is that this is not a tautology. So therefore, what that means is that this is not a valid argument. So we did a lot of work, but we've shown that this is not a valid argument because we do not have a tautology in our final column, as we can see right here by this highlighted zero. That is false. It's false in a situation. When A is true, B is false, and C is false, our result is false. Our premises do not entail our conclusion. Therefore, if we have an argument with this structure, A and B if and only if C, not C and A, not A arrow B, we do not get B out of it. Sure, in seven out of eight cases we would, but we don't get it for every case, so it's not a valid argument. So that's it for this video. We will learn how to do an argument like this with proofs in a few videos from now. I think after we cover truth trees, we'll do this. Um, but for now, truth tables are a good way of doing this, um, just because it's a method that you're familiar with, that you're comfortable with, and it's much easier to work with ones and zeros than it is sometimes to do really challenging proofs where you have to think about what steps you want next and make sure all your arguments are sound. So, if you have any questions, comments below, and I'll answer you when I can.